what is up? I am back with another video and I am trucking to a new pickup location. I'm heading to Taylor Farm in near Salinas Town. And we are uh, arriving probably in like 15 minutes or so. It's only about 27 kilometers left. Um, so yeah, we are getting gonna go and pick up some produce. I have no idea what kind of produce it's gonna be. So that's the exciting part. The second exciting part is uh, gonna be doing some backing. So it's gonna be a new place for me, new first time visiting there. So new backing, uh, let's see how it goes. Um, my pickup time is at two o'clock, but I'm kind of arriving there early, like, like two hours early. I didn't know there was an appointment time. I come to know this when I called them this morning. <laughs> and that happens sometime. All right, so my exit is less than two kilometers now. They're getting closer. I gotta take an exit at 226A Airport Boulevard. Uh, anybody coming? Nope, nobody's coming. <coughs> For some reason, these uh, acceleration uh, lanes, you know, when uh, people who come on the highway, the acceleration lanes are so short that they come in front of you, like, you know, quickly, instantly, and you gotta take a decision either to move over or to break. Sometimes you gotta break hard because you, there's nothing you can do because there's always traffic in the left lane or there could be traffic exit in the left right. lane and you can't, you don't move over. Oh, I gotta take exit in 700 meters, 600 meters, getting closer, getting closer. And it's sunny, I love sunny area, but I think that yesterday when I was coming, it was uh, it was 38 to 39 degrees Celsius. That that's pretty hot. <laughs> Airport Boulevard. All right, slow down, baby. Slow down. Okay, which lane should I pick? In 500 meters, turn left, then arrive at destination. Oh, I didn't straight. So I think I'm turning left down the road. Oh, I can see Taylor Farm sign over there. And I gotta take uh, left from there. So I'm almost there. Just the light is in between me and my truck. Oh, there's a truck driving school truck went there. That's a small trailer, buddy. You gotta teach in 53 feet long. Cause that's what everybody drives. Well, most of the trucker drives. All right, buddy, let's go, let's go, let's go. Farming, farming. XPO from where is gonna be my entry? This is not it. Turn left. Nope. got so many empty pallets pile up of pallets two lanes to turn left so I'm gonna be using the second lane to turn left there's a truck coming behind me Haha. nobody's in left lane so I have no issues using the little bit of a left lane as well and it did perfectly fine oh it's on the left hand side has to be this one shipping of it. This is what I uh, saw in my GPS. But uh, how do we check? And there are so many trucks already. Where am I gonna park, man? What is going on here? I will park probably parallel to that skeleton. <laughs> skeleton company. We will park oh, if you want to move sure move buddy then I can park right where you are unless he wants to get here uh, I hope not let's see he 
regular way here. Yeah, I think that's a plenty of space for them to take a turn. Oh, this guy, don't come behind me. I gotta go check in quickly uh, before this guy, you know, comes in front of me. So I better run, put on my shoes. Let's get out of there. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and check in and I'll be back shortly. All right, guys, so the, the guy over there said that I have to go at uh, like uh, just about a kilometer away and check in over there. And said that uh, people check in over there. If you have to wait, you may have to wait over there. Okay, let's go. Remote check in. Oh, this must be the place. Yeah, and this is the place on the right. Chevron is there, so definitely opposite to this. So it has to be this one. Opposite to Chevron. Uh, that light opened, so nobody's coming after that. So I'm gonna take this turn now. Definitely this one, so yep. Yeah. More check in, that was it. Yeah, I was at the right place, sorry about that. <laughs> well, sometimes it happens, you know, it happens. All right, let's find a spot. I'm not hitting anything, the blind spot, so I'm gonna go probably park between this black and uh, white free liner. 
Alaska, wey. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's back up, buddy. Honk, honk. Let's see if nobody's there. Nobody's there. I'm gonna try parking a little bit closer to this guy. Obviously, we can see the driver's side a lot more than the passenger side, so we know where our trailer is going. Yeah, not too much, not too much. Here we go. Follow the lines of the previous trucks. You want to keep too close to him so that he won't open the door. You know, he won't be able to open his door. So, okay. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Geraldo, 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 Geraldo. Yeah, 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 let's go, let's go. Yeah, now one, one more truck can fit in between me and him. Thing. Meters to meter, that's about good. Perfect. All right, let's go check in again and let's see how it goes. All right, guys, so um, I already parked myself in. Uh, got, I went and talked to the you know, check in guy and confirmed that my appointment is indeed at 2 p.m. So all I have to do now is kill some time and watch people backing in and out of here. Uh, yep, so well, let's wait for two hours and check in 15 minutes before 2 p.m. and uh, get loaded and get going. All right, see you in a bit. All right, guys, so I got a call in and I'm going to go back to the pickup place uh, he told me to back it into uh, door 10 uh, so I'm gonna head to that place unless I am in his way come on buddy where you want to go move on there, I'm just gonna put that quickly in there don't want to block Proceed to highlighted route. anybody all right Nobody's coming on that side. And little car there. Proceed to highlight route. Alrighty, still nobody is there, so I'm gonna head on. It takes all the space I need. Oh, I guess I need all a whole lot of space here. Alright, left left indicator, left indicator. Alright, did I make it? Did I make it? Oh yeah. Proceed oh, yeah. to highlight it route. And I did not hurt. <laughs> I did not hit any curve. Perfect. But I got a red light, so I gotta wait for the arrow green light. Okay. It's 22 degrees, still not too hot. I was expecting actually like 35, 38 or whatever. Uh, but it's not that much. Do, 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 do. I got so many bugs on my windshield. Let's see if I can clean them out a bit. This way, uh, view might be a bit more clear. Nope, well, it made a little difference, but not a whole lot. I got my reefer turned on on pre cool uh, 36 degree Fahrenheit, but uh, well, that's what their instructions were saying. So, oh, Ford Raptor, I love that truck. muscle truck all right green light come on been waiting too long let's go let's go let's go let's go oh okay your turn I guess after those guys I will that will be my turn Denny's. Denny's is pretty much in every city. Breakfast, lunch, always open. Come on, 
Come on, come on. All right, here we go. There we go. Yeah, I got traffic behind me. Did not hit any curve. I will be turning left from down the road, so I'm gonna keep my truck in left lane. Took a little wide turn, but that's okay. Wide turn is better than hitting a curve, right? Right? Especially when you got empty roads, so there's uh, no concerns whole a lot. What's the speed limit here? 72? I'm driving 58. But I gotta take a left turn down the road, so. So now, uh, once I arrived at my pickup location, I do have to move my tandems to all the way back. Turn left, then turn I'm not sure how much I can record there because there will be so many people, you know, watching me <laughs> doing uh, something, you know, whatever we do, we all do at the backing, you know, parking location. All right, left turn, baby. The way these people are scheduling everybody and, you know, asking them to come on a time, looks like they are pretty, uh, you know, scheduled strict people. So, I'm gonna try my best to a uh, quick backing there. Come on, guys, move, move, let's go, let's go. Oh, the front guy is driving slowly because he got some kind of wooden piece, you know, carrying on top of his truck. Oh no, I got a train in front of me. Come on now. Oh, that's a passenger train. Should uh, should uh, go away soon, I think. Oh, I'm so glad that it's a passenger train, not the other train. Turn left. Come on, come on, let's go. Perfect. I got one strap and one bar, so hopefully that would be a plenty, um, you know, to secure my load at the backside. Usually it works pretty good. I do have extra straps if I have to, but probably I, I might be okay I think this trail Taylor farm is a pretty damn big um, industry uh, feeding lots of people giving uh, so much jobs to you know everybody because I was telling I I thought I did go to Taylor farm before but that was a different location it was around this area but it was a different location um, I remember taking a right turn on US 101 and this one is not the one that one it was uh, it was a different one I was coming from LA at that point this time I came uh, south on 101 oh let's go buddy how much room do I have I have plenty of room arriving at destination on right I I want to stay in the right lane because I am turning right from that turn right there. Alright guys, I have arrived here, so let's see how this one's gonna go. <laughs> I gotta find quickly where the door, door number 10 is. Oh, right there. Okay. Alright, alright. Oh, looks pretty empty. I'm just gonna go right there. Door 10 is right there. So oh, let's see how is this gonna go. Oh, actually, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I think I was going to mess up with my backing skills here. Mm -hmm. so, a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. There we go. It's not super great, but let's see how is this gonna go. I may have, uh, you know, messed up my angle there. Maybe it did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a sharp right turn so that I can, you know, make a good angle and come back in there. There we go. Do 
want to hit those poles down there. All right, door number 10, where are you at? Because I got so much space, so I'm gonna just take my time and do whatever I want to do. Yep, that's going right there. Nobody's on my left side, so that's good. Okay, there we go. It's going in 10, but you know, it's saying I'm almost there. It's, it's touching the line. <laughs> I do have to pull forward one time. Yep, as you can see, I'm not on lines, right? So I gotta pull in forward a bit. Low. L-O-G, L-O-G, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Let's go in back. I think I got to go right in that yellow lane. Because sometimes these, uh, you know, lines, your tires are supposed to sit on, on top of them. And sometimes, um, you gotta go like you know in there. It's just yeah Sometimes kind of doesn't work out that way Right about I think I'm gonna keep it there for now Let's go move my angles and doors and stuff Open the doors got my trailer washed already yesterday so that was no issue no no issue come on there we go I do got one bar in a strap so I'm gonna keep it outside so that they don't have to you know they don't like touching this stuff so I'm gonna <laughs> while I was uh opening the doors my phone ran out of uh, storage and uh, when I came back in the truck and I looked at it I'm like what the hell um, so I already backed up the trailer uh, up to the dock I just gotta go check in and see if the trailer is parked properly my reefer is running hard right now at 36 I got my tandems back properly. I know they got a light here and it's actually all covered. It's, it's red right now. Usually I check at the bottom. Yeah, it's open. I think they're gonna get start loading me pretty quick. So uh, I gotta go in and check in with them and uh, just wait in my truck. I'll be back when I get loaded. my pickup is done oh at initially my door wouldn't close on me and then uh, I was able to uh, move my uh, trailer to different uh, you know location because it helps with that one turn right then keep right Take a white turn, don't want to hit any cars. Yeah, I think that will do. Keep the right in here on. All right, guys, so my pickup is done. It's almost kind of fully loaded at the back. Put my bar and strap on, got the seal on, reefer is running, and got my paperwork. There you go, here it is. And now I am heading back to Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Is anybody coming? Anybody coming? Nobody's coming. And I cleared that curb like a pro. I gotta stay in this left lane. Cause uh, it's turn ending right, anyways. Alright right, guys, that's all for now. I'm gonna go uh, do the scale and then leave for Canada. So uh, this is it in this video. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.